to the channel. So I'm going to do a haul video. Um, I got a call or a text message from um, a lady that I've worked with in the past who does um, a really neat business. It's called Simple Estate Solutions. They basically go in and buy the house and anything that they want to leave behind. And then the fam they would go in, they'll clean everything out. They'll either remodel the house or sell the house. It's a, it's a pretty cool business. So they had texted me, I think, Friday night. They, we had previously gone, and I did a haul video with the stuff I purchased there. Um, that'll probably be coming out before this video. So she had texted me Friday night to remind me that they were going to be there Saturday. And Saturday was just totally he hectic. So I texted her back and said, I, uh, sorry I didn't make it. She said, hey, we're going to be over there doing it for another hour on Sunday from 1130 to 1230. If you want to swing by, everything's a dollar. I can't. Uh, sure, why not? So I decided to take a chance and see if I went early, if they'd be there. And typically they are, but... Uh, they were running behind this morning, so I got there at about 11. About 20 minutes later, two ladies pulled up and were sitting across the street. And then about two minutes before the doors were scheduled to open, um, this guy comes walking around the corner and walks into the vestibule and tries to open the door. And I thought it was a little strange because this wasn't like you just walk up, you know, knocked on the door or rang the bell. Um, it was a fenced-in yard with a gate. And the door to the vestibule was obviously not open for somebody to walk in. So, um, <laughs> immediately when he did that, the two ladies in the car got out, which put them number two, then number three. And the guy seemed kind of stunned. So I was like, listen, I talked to them. They're running a little bit behind They'll be here soon and shortly after they pulled in um so i went in i didn't even realize until i was walking through the door i didn't have the gopro on me it was sitting on the front seat of the car i had just grabbed my bag um my ikea bag when i saw everybody rushing the door because i thought oh great they're probably going to want the same stuff i did um so i knew the layout of the house pretty well i knew exactly where i was going uh, the two ladies in front of me had been there, I guess, a couple times. They want, went straight for the hats. Um, that's a whole story. So, we won't get into that. It was okay. We had already come in, picked out the hats we wanted. We're not buying a lot of hats unless they're really cool these days. We're actually getting ready to do a big accessory sale this coming Saturday the 27th uh, at the store to sell a bunch of hats and purses and stuff jewelry um so look for that on the facebook i doubt this video will come out before then but anyway so um i actually am going to do the haul video outside it's somewhat nice it's a little overcast um a little chilly but it's just nice to be outside so i i set everything out up i set everything up outside and we'll take a look at it there um like I said, everything was a dollar, so I couldn't beat it. Um, and I think she gave me a little bit of a deal anyway, because we do business. So it's a great connection to have. They're super nice people. They want to move things quickly. They like people to buy in bulk, which I do. So they like that. So without further ado, here is the haul. All right, guys, we're back here on top of the hot tub doing a little hot tub haul we'll call it like i said everything was a dollar um i got some things here and then a couple pieces of clothing for sarah but we'll just take a quick look i don't usually grab toys games and whatnot but i thought these puzzle lean all the way over here i thought these were neat there's birds. Um, another one. Animals. So it looks like it's food, birds, animals. Is there anything underneath there? No. 
but I thought they were neat. Um, so I grabbed those. I was actually kind of surprised at some of the stuff that was still left there. I thought there was still quite a bit of good stuff. These Anchor Hawking microwave items, I got this one. And then I also got this one here. I've done well with those in the past. People seem to really like those. And these are new in the box. I don't think they were used. They're just the boxes are coming apart. So I picked both of these up. This I've bought pieces of before. I believe it's made in Holland. And it was an interesting size. So I grabbed that. It's in great shape. Great colors. I did pick up Corningware. I don't typically pick up Corningware. But there were some pieces that kind of looked different. I grabbed these three little blue cornflower dishes. Uh, the pie plate. And then I grabbed this big casserole here. And these three unusually different coffee pots. And I looked up this one here with the glass. And it actually sells for like $70. So I was... I'm going to clean it up. As you can see, they were down in the basement. They were dirty. Um, I'm going to grab those later here and clean them up and get them listed. But very cool. Same with same with this guy here. It's starting to pick up with the corningware. So I may, if I can get it really cheap, I might pick it up. I grabbed these two fairy lights here. There's the diamond point here. I believe they're both home co. And of course this one here. But I was surprised they were still there. I didn't see them initially the first time I went, so um, I would have thrown them in my pile. But this Franciscan cake slicer, brand new in the box, uh, in the desert rose pattern. Pick that up. I had seen these the last time I was there. They're they're kind of in good shape, as you can see. They kind of fall apart some of them. Um, I may fix them up, and that one's missing the whole top, but I don't know. We'll see. I may, um, throw them in a lot, sell them, see how they go. I got these drip candles, or the colored drip candles. They were never used, so I guess as you melt them, they change color, never out of the box. I did go through the candles again and make sure I didn't miss any loose light candles, but there weren't any. I always grab these nylon flags. So this one's a giant one. It's this wreath. And as you can see, it's, it's a pretty big one. So I grabbed that one, new in the package. And I also grabbed this one, which is this Christmas tree here. And these do pretty well for me. I wish I had seen, like, the witch or Dracula there. I would have picked those up, but... Yeah, they do pretty good for me online. Um, this, I was surprised, is still there. Yes, that says Cutco. This is a Cutco knife sharpener, new in the box, with the blades and everything. And I literally was like, this is still here? Okay. So I grabbed that. I did pick up these two bird cages. I thought they would have been gone the first day, um, but they weren't. They were sitting under the table still. They need to be cleaned up, maybe painted, but we use them around the shop for display, so whenever I see them, I grab them. This is an interesting piece of pottery. I don't know if the lady made it. It doesn't look to be, it looks more like a piece maybe from Japan. But it's a very cool shape and design, so I picked that up. These are all new old stock coloring books. So you have like this one here. Oh, no, I lied. This one's colored. <laughs> of course it is. The first one I start off with. I looked through most of these. They didn't look to be colored. So like, you have that. As you can see, of course, maybe they were. Maybe they were, but I think she charged me a dollar for the whole stack of them, so I'm not really concerned about it. Um, I guess they were used. But they have great graphics on the front of them. 
connect the dots. The three little pigs. So I might lot these up. This one's got, look at this, we have a fairy on there. This is Thumbelina. So this is really cute. But I might like put these in a lot, sell them online. Disney Babies, this is a golden book. I'll have to go through them, but there's this Weta brush. I'm bringing out the colors. That's kind of interesting. The Busy Book. See, this is a fun pad. That's just kind of fun. That goes with that. That goes with that one. I'll show you those in a minute. What's this guy here? 14 cents. So this is a party time coloring book. I bet you these were like for party favors. Yeah. Great little coloring books. Hmm. Interesting. And then this squirrel one that is really cute. And then there was a stack of these miniature five cent coloring books. Which there's, I think, three. No, two Mother Goose, two baby ones. Um, what else here? Easy to finish. Color Parade, another easy to finish, and that one. Just, I mean, when's the last time you saw a five cent coloring book? So those are pretty cool. I did grab these. I had seen these the last time I was there. They're just gold ornaments. Um, I might put them in a lot and sell them online. And then I did grab some clothing items. Um, I had looked at these the last time I was there, and as you can see, this one has some staining on it, some spotting, probably from the 30s. Uh, I'll see if Sarah can maybe soak this out and see if it'll clean up. Same with this one here, this 1960s brown and white, perfect for fall, move that over there. Um, this one I really liked, it's kind of like a velvet with a big collar. Very neat piece. Um, there's like a blue. And they stored their clothes inside out. So it looks like that. And then this pink jacket here back here that needs to be washed. But that's what I got from the sale. Like I said, everything was a dollar. So um, we did pretty well. And... It's nice to be able to work with them and uh, they'll call me up when they get a, a new one and have me in before and then again after. So. so that was the haul portion of the video. If you see anything that you like and you don't see it in the eBay store, shoot me a message, uh, vintage samples at gmail.com or leave a comment down below. I'll try to get this, these things up as quickly as possible. If you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're over 500 subscribers now, so I'm going for the thousand. I still am going to do a giveaway for 500. I got to put that together this week and uh, post something. And it'll most likely, like I said, be Christmas related, vintage Christmas. Um, put together a nice little package just because I started the channel with vintage Christmas, so why not continue? But, um, like I said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to get future content or notified of future content, make sure you subscribe. And thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.